Good morning. It's Friday, September 29th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Be Still and Know. And our scripture is Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come and mountains crumble into the sea. Let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. Be still and know that I am God. I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. When the storms of life head your way, it becomes an absolute necessity to know and trust the strength of the position you occupy. It will not do to start fixing the roof when the raindrops begin. This is why Scripture constantly tells us and shows us and reminds us to meditate on God, to study His Word and trust His strength rather than our own. He is our roof, our walls, our foundation. He wants us to survive the storms. So, this morning, let's meditate on God in the stillness. First of all, be still and see His creation. The psalmist tells us God created all that we can see as well as that which we still haven't discovered. Take a deep breath and contemplate how God has put you together, intricate, beautiful, capable of great kindness and compassion, having free will to serve goodness or evil. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And then be still and see his gentleness. With all his power to create the universe, God made sure we would have the tenderness to be gentle with that which is vulnerable. What trust our God has in us to ennoble us with such gifts that display his image in us. We are blessed with a family resemblance. And then be still and see his kindness. God did not have to create us or be gentle with his creation, but rather chose to do so because of his nature to be kind. Even the covenant word used for God's promises to all who look to him as father, the word is loving kindness. That is the stuff of his creation and promises. And then be still and see his majesty. Mountains, plains, seas, sky, and all that's in them declare the handiwork of God. And with all of that to display his glory, God also has not chosen to live in a castle or a house made with bricks, mortar, wood, or stone. God lives within the crown of his creation, humankind. He decorates his abode with love, compassion, and eternal life. And then lastly, be still and see his mercy. In the storms of our life, God is there. He cares what we're going through and what we've learned, how much we've suffered or laughed. He knows us so fully, every molecule of our body, every thought of our being, every tear we've ever shed is collected in his bottle. And he knows every pure or vile thing we've ever done or thought. And in His mercy, we are loved. For you today, what could we possibly add to Creator, gentle, kind, majestic, and merciful? (laughs) Tons more. We have just barely touched the slightest glimmer of the grandeur of God's glory. And the greater news is, for those who love him and call him Father, we will have an eternity to explore all he is and the greatest measure of his love, Jesus, his Son. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.